And welcome to game number three between Melkor and Fire. Um, Kel's War, as expected, actually, uh, that's the most frequent or the most common pick uh, on game three is the Kel's. Uh, probably the best Sif um, among the four that we can pick. And let's see how this is going. I'm gonna start with Melkor here. Um, Melkor got second stone and main stone safe in the back. That's awesome for him. He's gonna have no trouble getting castles up. Main gold on the side. It's the, on the far side. It's good for him. And second gold outside. Third gold outside. Um, three deer outside. Found the two sheep. One boar. Two boars inside. One relic. A little bit inside his walls. A uh, lot of space. Very wide arena actually. But looking at fire space, pretty much the same. Uh, let's see where his resources are. Oh, the main gold um, very far forward. Second gold close outside. Second stone very close also outside. One boar outside, but oh, uh, actually two, but fire is making sure to get them in. He's protecting the boars. Uh, gonna block the boar with the scout. Nice job. And he's gonna get it in. No problem. Oh, villager bugging out. And fire losing the villagers. This should not happen, but uh, you can't do anything against the bugs. Mm, now fire again protecting the second boar. Um, this time deleting a piece of wall to get it in easy, more easy, more easily. Not sure. Uh, let's go for the rest of the resources. Fire main stone on the side and third gold outside. An extra gold here which he could secure by walling this, but not sure if he's going to do it. He's got three deer inside. That's nice for him. But resources definitely better for Melkor. And um, fire doing second lumber camp, getting the second boar in. Now going for the deer. Expected. Where's the relics? Actually, there's four relics on the left hand side. One, two, three, four. And those three a little bit closer to fire, maybe, but um, can't really decide on that. We have an extra gold as well on the map and an extra. Uh, three extra berries, extra stone here. Is there two extra golds? Yeah, we've seen this one before. So for now we're just waiting for players to go up to Feudal and then Castle Age. Mm, going a little bit slow actually, this replay, I'm not sure I like it. But uh, we can see that Melkor is luring all the deer in, I think it was three. Opening two pieces of wall, not sure why. I think one should be enough, but maybe he wants to place a house there later on. Uh, sending a villager immediately and the house outside could even stonewall this. Uh, uh, to be totally safe. Deer is under the TC, good job. Merco going up first. Um, 26 population, doing a blacksmith and a market. Mm, while fire is still upping to feudal age. Melkor mm, resources not too good. He's missing a little bit, although he's, he's dropped the food from the deer. So he should be fine and clicking up to castle age. Very good. Uh, he will be okay and he's got four, five, that's now 11 villagers on wood. Um, probably going for a boom game here. Not even sure he's going for a monastery. Maybe one because three villagers on gold. But I can't really tell. And we can see fire again, trying to go for map control, doing a stable. I think that's the right idea here. And he's going to be able to get all the relics this time, except for one that's very similar to game three. Um, two scouts are out, plus the initial one. No, that's... Um, there's this, the third one coming out. Uh, we have one, two, five, nine farms for fire, as far as I can see. And Melkor up to... Mm, Castle Age doing one town send on the wood line in the back, one TC in front of the main gold. Maybe should have moved it one tile more away. I don't like these uh, towns that are directly on the gold. Monastery up as well, and Wheelbar coming in for him immediately doing one monk. Mm, scout fight now, but um, like we can see, yeah, the fire is there with scouts again. So he won't be able to go for a lot of relics, maybe for this one, but otherwise uh, this could end badly. And fire, as we can see, going on the second TC, but a little bit later because then uh, Monastery and a siege workshop doing a monk and second Manganel already coming out. Also a knight in play for fire. He's doing the aggressive play, something we are used to see from Eddie or we were used to see from him. Mm, I think he's done it to perfection, but fire is very comfortable, I think, here in this position and with this uh, aggressive play for now. Um, Melkor needs to wall this, don't wall this, but he doesn't have any stone left and the house is down. Didn't wall behind this, fire can go in. 50 uh, population and house for Melkor at this point, doing the siege workshop immediately. Uh, house is up and what is he trying to convert? Maybe a scout here. Uh, three mangonels for fire, two scouts and still a knight in the back here. Mm, fire li really looking good at this point. Taking the TC now. Manganels one for one. That's okay for fire. Not too good for Melkor. And 
A fire, having one, two TCs, that's gonna be enough for him, I think. A few villagers and gold, get the first relic in, but he's busy with uh, the fight here. And I think he lost, uh, did he lose Manganel? This one, good for fire, not sure. I think fire doing the better job of microing here, of course he can concentrate uh, on the micro almost totally. And uh, Malcro right now, not really able to defend here. Another Manganel coming out, but he's dropping into the front and he might lose it immediately. The scouts are there, uh, one for one at least, that's good and killing a scout but this TC uh, being repaired right now mm, the four five villages four villages uh, still under heavy attack and the scouts are there uh, temple line of sight Macro really not looking good. He's in a score lead, but only for a split second. Fire taking the score lead again. Good shot here for Melkor, killing Manganel for none. Uh, but needs to go back uh, because the scouts are uh, arriving. He's able to defend at this point, but Fire is still in the dominant position. And while Melkor is low on uh, every resources, uh, on all the resources, Fire is gathering uh, the resources to go to Imperial Age, which is a very nice option for him. I think if he went on stone, it would be even better. Mm, almost killing that Manganel. He's gonna get tried another time. Good job this time. And uh, two against one for now. Wilbur coming in for fire. Is this an outpost? Yep, there we go. Monastery might go down. How many relics does fire have? Only one. He's busy with uh, the aggression here with the forward, so he's not getting any relics at this point. He has a monk on the side. He can see the relics. Uh, Manganel's one for one again. Fire still has two. And and almost being able to click up to Imperial Age, not too far uh, from it. Not the Siege Workshop coming up from Melkor now, but his eco is not the best. A lot of wood in the bank, a uh, good amount of gold, not too much food, and able to click up yet. And oh, he's converted two scouts, that's good for him. But now the knights come and play for fire. Very smart idea here to go for the knights and just wait for them to. Uh, to come into play. Now a castle coming up for Melkor, that's uh, uh, definitely necessary to do. Melkor getting two mangonels for none, that was a good job for him, but he might lose it now, not getting a third one. Mm, can he get another shot? No, fire this time with the good micro. Oh, this castle needs to go up for Melkor. Oh, no, god damn it, that's not good. You don't drop your mangonels forward, that's uh, never do this. Uh, I don't know, but uh, players are losing uh, mangonels so often and then they drop them out of the siege workshop. And for now the castle is helping Melkor to survive, but really that's it, that's surviving. Uh, fire doing a few outposts now around, still attacking the TC. At the same time he almost got enough stone and uh, for a castle, uh, he's got it and enough resources to click up to Imperial Age. He's got one, two, three, four TCs now. Uh, and Melkor only ten more villages, that's not a lot. Few um, road raiders come into play, trying to kill, to destroy the mangonels. But one being converted, second one being killed. Melkor really not looking good here. Fire clicked up to Imperial Age and I think this game might be over as soon as Fire hits Imperial Age, if not before that. Uh, Merko might try and uh, hang on this castle, but it's really not looking good for him. And while there's still one, two vote Raiders out, uh, and they're being converted, only one Mangana left, but Fire doesn't really need them anymore. There's one Mangana for Melkor as well. Melkor not close to Imperial Age, not at all. And with eight more villages only, that's not a lot for him. He's got enough stone for a second castle, but Fire, did he put a castle uh, down somewhere? Yeah, he's protecting his uh, second stone here, and the main goal at the same time. He's almost got enough stone for another castle, which he could put forward, I think. Mm, stone mining, gold mining coming up, and we might see Melkor resign as soon as Imperial Age is done for fire here. Second castle coming up to protect the, the main gold now for Melkor. Nice position, fire doing some sort of laming here with the houses. Uh, not really laming, but a little bit. And next Manganel going down, Road Raiders being killed, and the monks going down as well. It was a good fight, but Imperial Age is done for fire. He managed to deny this castle uh, or delay it, and Michael calling GG. Very nice aggression here for fire. Very good series, in my opinion. Uh, definitely game one, the, one of the best I've seen there. One of the best uh, uh, monk civilization wars, and a fire then taking the the uh, other two games relatively easy or at least uh, without too many problems nice forward aggress aggression here castle a um, little bit too late probably and fire with a good boom behind this uh, going two tcs at the start and then adding two more having a lot of villages and enough resources to click up very nice games i hope you enjoyed these and i'm not sure if these were the last of the losers bracket round seven i think so and uh, we're going into the winner 
this bracket very soon. Mm, it should be very good games because the top players are still there, of course. Uh, not saying that Fire is not one of the top players. He's really, really strong as he's uh, been proving uh, through the last three games. But there should be very uh, interesting games as well. And yeah, see you there. GG.